Hi guys, it's Justine, and today's video is going to be our real life white trash holiday decor. I thought about cleaning up my house before I show you our decor tour, but you know what? I'm just going to show you how it looks every day because that's real life. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what it's like having Christmas decor when you have two young kids. Okay, so starting off, here's the tree. We have a bunch of stuffed animals thrown across the floor. Usually I would like to have them around the tree and a nice ring looking pretty. As you can see, there's also ornaments flung around everywhere because the kids pull them off the tree. And here's our tree skirt, which is my favorite part of the tree. Well, one of my favorite parts of the tree. Um, it's a sequin tree skirt. My husband actually picked this out, which I'm very surprised because um, he got my style down perfectly. And then as you go up the tree, you'll see there's no ornaments on the bottom branches. The cranberry, those are like wooden cranberries there, strung about crazy. And um, top of tree is fine. We have this star at the top. And then down here, totally bare, a mess on the floor. And um, also, but at the top, I, I say the top is totally fine, but we have this layer right here where the lights are out and I'm not quite sure how to fix it. And I'm kind of afraid to go in and try to mess with it because then I'm gonna have to like, we have so all the glass ornaments up here at the top and I don't wanna have to like take them all down. And so we've just been dealing with it. The bottom of the tree looks crazy. So why not have a little part at the top that looks crazy as well? Our couches are actually my favorite part. This um, blanket my sister got me from Air Apostle last year. And then I got these pillow covers. I got them in a set of six off of Amazon. I really wanted some holiday pillows. And when I was looking on Amazon um, for holiday pillows, I ran into, my daughter's playing over there. I ran into pillow covers and which is just genius. I didn't consider putting decorative pillow covers on already like couch decorative couch pillows, but it has been working out so well. Plus um, the, the pillow covers are gonna be a lot easier to store than storing entire holiday pillows. So there is our first, um, I guess this is technically a love seat. I always just call it a couch. And then here is our second couch. Um, here are two more pillows that came. This one with the fox and the bunnies and the birds is my favorite. It says, warmest wishes for Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And then warmest wishes for Christmas again. Merry Christmas to you. And I think that's so cute. And then we have a snowflake pillow. Another um, blanket from Air Apostle that our sister, my sister got us. This pillow drives me crazy. It's supposed to have some sort of writing right here, but it's so light that you can't even see what it reads, but it's just a little snowman and then another red pillow. And I like how like diverse looking all the pillows that came in the set are because I just like having all the different ones. And then we also have a diaper on the couch because you know, why not? Over here is our bar area. We have a bunch of wires. I, I just don't know what to do with them, but we have these um, placemats from Dollar Tree and I got these last year. I just tripped, that's why the camera went like that. I got these last year and then I have a dancing Santa Claus. I have a nutcracker, a little snowman calendar, which I don't know, do you guys put how many days until Christmas or the date? Because I put the date on ours. Um, and then I have, I don't really know what this is, but we actually store some ornaments in here. So I just left it out and um, it's just a little town. Then up here we have a vase with candy canes and the, that's what that looks like. I really wanted to make like a, this into like a nice little centerpiece. That's what I usually do for other holidays, but I'm just not really sure what to do with this area because we don't really have anywhere else in our house where we can put these guys where my kids won't get into them. And then we also have our Alexa over here and I knew that was gonna mm -hmm. happen. And so we also have her over here and so that also accounts for some of the wires. So yeah, I just, I don't really like how this is set up and I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. 
this chair we just have this pillow which we keep out all year round but this year it looks extra festive since it's festive since it is green and then this is a, my a baby blanket that we got when my son was born it was the first thing that we had ever gotten for him and it is a quilt and um, it has like these balls which kind of look like Christmas ornaments I'm not entirely sure if that's what they are but they have these balls this plaid and then the back of it is like trees and so we use it as a Christmas decoration piece now and so that is what this looks like here is the table we've got coal that the elves brought last night here <laughs> we've got advent calendars here a kindle there but um but I mean that's just life you guys um we have more of those same dollar tree placemats and then this is a red tablecloth from Walmart I've got this um, little snowman here. These I did a DIY on. I did a DIY video on these flower arrangements two years ago. I'll have that linked down below if you wanna watch it. But um, they are Dollar Tree. Everything in them is from Dollar Tree. The elf. And then I just have this box right here just to add some like dimension to the overall centerpiece. Um, and yeah, usually the elves aren't right there and it looks a lot better, but uh, yeah. And then over here I have this piece from Dollar Tree hanging on the wall. This is Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. And the big wreath that I made, I did a DIY on this a couple years ago. Again, um, I made it entirely with Dollar Tree products. I'll have it linked down below. And I just have it right here just to add some more festivities to the wall right here. And then lastly, we have our all of our little stocking collection right here. And then every year we usually end up getting more. So we just have them pinned to the wall because we don't have a fireplace and we don't really have anywhere else we can put them. Um, we could put them like on the bar area, but I'm just afraid of the kids pulling them off. So at least right here, they're up a little higher. And yeah. All right guys, that is it for my decor tour. We only decorated like the front rooms and the kitchen. I didn't do anything in the bedrooms or the bathrooms or anything like that. That is it, as you can tell, it's very messy. It's very difficult to decorate with children. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Please like, subscribe, comment, etc., etc., etc. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.